and welcome back to another episode of the Globe Interview Series. I'm your host Sunlight and today I'm delighted to welcome onto the show two very special guests. We have Annie Yi, singer, actress, writer and ambassador for Theirs vs NFT and Hyphen, co-founder and art director of Theirs vs. So I hope you enjoy the interview. The Globe mobile app is now live on the Apple App Store. Trade anytime, anywhere with any asset as collateral. Stay connected with all your positions on the go. Globe, exchange everything, now even easier. So welcome, welcome Annie, welcome Hyphen. So uh, I'd actually first like to ask Annie, so as such a well-known female artist and actress, how can anyone learn about NFTs? Yeah, um, I think uh, before we think NFT is like economy thing or something, but now because the bear market, NFT turned to more like a, a culture or some community. So we want to bring, um, actually we know like BAYC is a male power and what of women is like female power. But we, we all know that the new generation it shouldn't be like the gender first. So that's why we want to create some community in the Web3. It's for like new gender. And of course, um, our slogans like no gender, no race. So for us, there's verse is more like a community. And we build together, of course, you know, our community get some, a little bit more money. <laughs> but but the, I think the most important thing is, this is for the new generation. And we wish that, New, you know, invite more new generation to come into the Web3 and create something really for the future. That's why we use this way to do the NFT and make a community. Yeah, that's amazing. So hyphen, so I know Annie touched upon, you know, the gender aspects of Theirsverse. But so can you go a bit more into depth about the goals of Theirsverse and how you guys are achieving that? Yeah, um, I think Gender is just one of the many things that, or topics and themes that we're trying to tackle on. Um, I think uh, being someone who's queer and uh, who's Asian living in um, America, which, well, in New York, it's not predominantly white, but it's still a really diverse place. But um, knowing that um, it's all about communities and finding your community within um, places where you might be minorities, I think that's kind of the entry point of where we're starting with this project. It's all about, I don't want to use the word misfits, but it's about people who might not feel like they fit in. And it's about finding a group of people that will be like you. And then to know that your voice is heard, even within a place where you might not be able to speak up. I think that's kind of our main goal, to let people that might not feel like they belong all the time, find a place that they can call home. Amazing. So, and and with these people who are trying to call theirs verse their home, um, Annie, can you tell us a bit about the community? Because yeah. you guys have been having a lot of in-person meetups, mm -hmm. right? So what's the community like? Yeah, I think today is a really great day because yesterday we go to the uh, OpenSea Ranking 1. Something meaningful for us because we launched like for four months, but I have to say we have three, four months, still like four years. Everything is so fast. And now our community, like 25% is LGBTQ and 45% is female and 20 or 30% is male. Actually, the LGBT community, they never used the digital, digital wallet before. They even don't buy the t token before but they are so interested about the Web3. So this is really um, the new project for them. Yeah, because they, sh they, they should be joining the Web3. If we say the Web3 is a future, we say this is a metaverse. If we say that it's a verse, then everyone should come, right? Because verse is so big, more than the earth. And that 45 male um, in the community supporting very much because a lot of women, or, yeah, even the girl, we always say girls help us girls. So they also want to help the LGBTQ. And the rest, that 30% um, male, it's more like they trust us. We can become like really big branding, really good IP, is face the Gen Z, no gender, no race, and so active and also so artistic. 
And that's why now our community is really healthy, I have to say. Yeah, we have sent faith and we believe that Diverse will become the worldwide branding. So that's what we're doing right now. So I really appreciate that the community in these four months do a lot of things with us. Actually, this time we came to London. All the, you see this event is all from the our holder. They borrow a place, you know, doing the promotion. It's all, all our holder to supporting us. Actually, we have a Paris community, London community, Singapore and Thailand. Also, we have an Iran community. Yeah, that's amazing because we ask them why you will, you know, come to the Dares first and they say because in Iran some place, if you are the LGBTQ, you will be killed. Yeah, so they wish they can use the Web3 power to let more world know everyone should be get the freer. That's so inspiring. Yeah. I think just to touch on um, the LGBTQ subject, since she's not really an eligible member right. of the community. <laughs> I'm um, not. Um, or, I mean, maybe she could be, I don't know. Um, uh, you are. <laughs> she likes kissing girls sometimes, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think what she was trying to say is that um, we can see the economy and also just um, the interweb, which is what all of this generation heavily like kind of relies on um, uh, going towards Web3 and NFT. So I feel like, um, I guess, a lot of members in the LGBTQ community, they lean towards more artistic and they would think that NFTs and like um, maybe more economical based subjects are things of predominantly white cis straight male stuff. So they might not want to get into it, but I think being from a part of that community, seeing this is where we're headed, seeing that this is our future, I feel like we've been neglected in the many years of history that this new thing is developing. It's really important for us to immediately step our ground and then kind of find our place within it. And I feel like that also kind of expands to the whole idea of making this community within a space where it's predominantly white to straight male and making community for women, for people of color and for uh, people of the LGBTQIA plus community. Awesome. So as you said, crypto isn't, uh, it's more of like a white cis male industry. So how are you kind of onboarding uh, people of the LGBTQ plus community into crypto? Um, I think a lot of people have a certain misconception of what crypto is. They might think that, like what she said, it's all about business, but, um, and I'm not into that either. Like I yeah, I go to NYU, I know what the sternies are like, the, the business school, and they're really annoying sometimes. Going to frat parties with them is absolute hell, but I digress. Um, but I feel like coming into this, because she introduced the idea of the metaverse to me too, and I was like, why the would I do that? Um, but slowly learning about the whole kind of universe that we're being brought into and learning that it's something, business is just kind of just a basis of it. Um, you can add so much more fun and art, I think just entertainment to it. Um, knowing that, I think that's kind of our biggest selling point, I guess, uh, for people that might be scared of just going straight into economy because I feel like um, at the end of the day, it is a crypto brand, but most importantly, it's a brand identity. And our identity is all about art, expressing yourself and individuality. So I think that for me kind of holds above any other, I guess, labels that we have. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. So let's let's talk a bit seriously now. Um, so unfortunately, recently there were the theft of some Desvers NFTs. So Annie, could you explain how NFT collectors can keep their NFT safe? Yeah, um, keep the NFT safe. Use co wallet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, this this question is to technology for us. Yeah, but I have to say we have a really good worldwide team with about 23 person in our team. It's a huge team. And actually, we are really doing good in the bear market because everyone is like, bro, but we are going throughout because I think the young generation trust that the diverse will become really good IP because you can see the doodles, you know, they want to become like Hello Kitty because in this year in NFT NYC, the doodles, community is the only one you can bring the kids go 
because they do the you know the event is really for the uh, family. Yeah, but if you go to the Azuki or BYC, it's about drink, you know, and techno music. <laughs> so the Doodles uh, is the only one that you can bring your kids, you know, join the NFT together. So uh, slowly you will find that different NFT is about the different, yeah, maybe culture or some group you can find. And But why there's verse is doing so good right now because... I think the young kids like them, like the Gen Z, if you are an artist, you are, really takes long time to go to the gallery, you know. And if you want to use your art to, you know, talk with the world, to have a communicate with the world, it takes a long time because you have to go to the gallery first and a lot of things you have to do. But if you use the NFT, just four months, yeah, I, we have already different city, different countries to join us. So I think NFT is the most fast to create a brand yeah, in the worldwide the way. So um, I don't know how to, you know, say if you're an NFT, but we definitely will do that, you know, teach new digital wallet user. Like we say, we got maybe 25% in the community. They, they didn't buy the token before. We are the first NFT, maybe will be the one and the only NFT. <laughs> yeah, because they have the same faith with us. Mm -hmm. So we also today, the event after event, we will teach them how to use digital wallet, how to keep them safe and why you have to buy this and what is the meaning for this. So I think NFT is different with the crypto because you won't have uh, some feeling and you won't fall in love with, with your crypto, but you will fall in love with, with your NFT. So every time we have an event with our community together, mm -hmm. they will say how beauty is the artwork and what is present for the artwork and what hyphen want to say that, uni what is the universal language. So I think NFT is different with the crypto. Yeah, S some, some way similar, but something, maybe I would have to say NFT is more heavy inside. So Hyphen, I was wondering um, what kind of direction you were hoping to take this person? Um, I think we're still really early on um, in just kind of developing our brand, but there's a lot in the works right now. Um, and I'm definitely more focused on the art. I feel like I definitely do have a lot of ambition and, um, and I think people are coming into our community for the art and people are seeing kind of the potential that these characters have because all of them, all of our different collections have so many different stories and um, each artist has their own personal style. And I think right now what we're trying to develop is even a broader sense of community so that we have even more voices um, coming out from their spurs. And we want to get more artists from all different parts of the world to come share their own story because I feel like representation is a really um, crucial part into um, letting different cultures, different backgrounds and history being seen. And also just from the more kind of playful artistic aspect, um, we have some digital idol in the work, which I'm really excited about um, because I decided to do filmmaking for college. But even before that, I was really into fashion and like um, music making and all that stuff. So that's one thing that I'm super excited about. Um, one of our characters is going to be turned into like a digital like online idol and then i'm like choreographing for it and i'm also writing the music for it so that's in the work that's um one of the many things but i think it's just yeah, we also do the yeah with the chanel yeah. in the soho because our pap is so beautiful so makeup. yeah so yeah. we do the same makeup with the holder mm. They hold that PFP and then we do the same makeup with that them. So fun. that is super yeah. fun. She put me with like four different makeup artists, um, professional makeup artists. And she's like, yeah, do your makeup with them. And I'm like, yeah, you, I don't you, know you, how to do good. makeup. But. And also because our PFP is so beautiful and it faced a new generation. Also, we're talking about unisex. So a lot of brands now cooperate with us together. Like we have a wine. We are do our chocolate. Yeah, and also we have a skateboard community right now. So we do the skateboard, mm -hmm. we do the t-shirts. So once you become like IP in the world, then yeah, you just do it yourself. 
and everyone will come. So we got a lot of different yeah corporate in the next season, and also we are doing the like uh, fashion metaverse right now. That is really important for us, and that fashion metaverse you can create together. You know, not just hyphen. Maybe if you are the Parsons student, or you came from like London Arts student, you can create virtual costume for us, and then we can sell that for you. That's the decentralization that what we want to do in the metaverse. Also, you know, now the metaverse is so straight. <laughs> I have mm-hmm. to say, <laughs> so I see a lot of different metaverse in Bay Area and Canada, and yeah, it's all like for the male. Mm-hmm. You know, the girl were like uh, guardians. I don't know why <laughs> they're all like warriors. <laughs> yeah, so we we really want to do some can move Instagram or something like that. Sass it up. Yeah, set yeah. it up and more fashionable. You know, more young and more active. They everyone can create together, make money together, play together, and do the art together, do the fashion together. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. I think maybe give us more, like four months or six months. We already do that. Yeah, we have a team already. A very, I feel like that's a very experimentalist aspect of it to just really push boundaries of what NFTs can be, and I think also just tackling every different art forms because I know a lot of people dedicate their life to a certain art form, but um, for me, I feel like all art, different art forms, are kind of interrelated and intertwined with each other, and I feel like it'd be so awesome to create a community of artists where um, everything, a product. Is created by everyone. You know, maybe a video where there's a filmmaker, but also、um, the music is coming within the community as well, and the clothing, the makeup is also all coming within the community to have a grand, like one product just for ourselves. I think that's what we're trying to kind of not limit ourselves to. And、yeah. also, I think when we're talking about economy system, is decentralized is so important. We never talk about you know the standard also need to. Decentralization. Girl in pink, boy in blue. You can't cry because you're a boy. You should be strong. That's also very. I think that is also very centralized standard. So that's what there's verse doing.、Mm-hmm. If crypto and Bitcoin can be decentralized, then why the standard are so centralized right now? We want to move that、Material、crypto.、World. Yeah, that crypto thinking also move to the soul thinking. Not just crypto decentralized. Also, like theoretically,、yeah. we also want to decentralize beauty standards、mm-hmm. and and、uh, gender constructs, racial constructs,、um, to really just break down what it really doesn't make sense. What people has told us, like why men has to wear pants and they can't wear skirts, and I feel like these kind of stru- constructs they've just been set in stone for so many centuries that people never questioned them, and I feel like that's kind of what she's referring to、you、as like more. You can wear a skirt. I've been wearing skirts. You can tell me no, and I'm still gonna wear it.、Um, you can do everything you want. But I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah.、Right. Yeah. I feel like、I'm、there's、so、a mental decentralization that we're trying to go for. And let's not do that on camera. We can do that later. And、um, so I, I just want to say, if you, when you play something like when you play Dare's Verse, Mita Verse, or you, you, you have an NFT in your wallet, but you will feel something. You are doing something really good for the world, also. Even you get the money back because we are really good right now, yeah. But I still want our community know when you play the metaverse, when you do some social five or game five, you can still use that to change the world thinking. That's what Bitcoin do, right? So Bitcoin is not just a crypto. That is also change the system for the world. You know, you know no government. Right, yeah, no banker. That's why Bitcoin will, you know, in the world. So also we have to bring that faith to into the new generation. Not tell them crypto just make for money. Of course you can make the money, but if you make money, also you have the faith. That will be the better life. I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So inspirational, you know. You're not just creating this for the money. You're creating a whole ecosystem that could be the future, right?、Mm-hmm. And who knew Bitcoin would be like this in 2013, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's exciting to see what theirs verse will be、mm-hmm. soon. It really is. Yeah. yeah.
hopefully it's gonna be good <laughs> <laughs> we are doing good right now we're doing great yeah yeah we're so proud of Onward, our community yeah they do a lot of things for us yeah because you are in Prague you don't know but like in the worldwide every way they're doing the uh they're doing the event by themselves they're doing the Twitter space by themselves they're doing the free space for their verse they, oh, yeah, okay, cool. and they for doing like the street dance there for their verse. So, you know, it's just like maybe Mark Zuckerberg say why Facebook will be success because you have uh, one person have five friends and five friends have 25 friends and then become a huge social system. So even our holder maybe just like 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000, but they are really built together right now. So when I first time saw that so frisbee. frisbee, I'm so touching. Yeah, they are really good for them because they are like college students and they put the sticker, they, you know, they PFP in that frisbee and they play that. <laughs> I saw our people in five. So I'm so touching for that moment and they do a lot of things for us. So like we, I say wine, beer, and you know, um, t-shirts. Also they put it in the- Skateboard. Yes, snowboard. Snowboard too, yeah, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, all types of different boards. Yeah, all, all yeah. types of different boards. Everything can put, they try to put it on. <laughs> so finally know what is the build together. It's so different with my fans, you know, because I'm doing some record and yeah, I didn't talk to my friend that lot. They can use my, you know, my face to do any business plan, but now they can use theirs first. We even support some uh, young kids use the theirs first PFP to do something business and they make money. Then we are so happy about that. They use this to the coffee beans. Yeah, called theirs first coffee beans. And but we didn't take any money and the right. We just give them the right. So I think that is really contribute together that is so different with because you go to some luxury brand like Gucci or everything you just buy it you are the consumer and then we change the consumer to the holder and then let the consumer become holder and then become community that is so amazing that i never have that experience before because i'm so centralized because i'm an artist you know yeah, and my fans have to buy the t-shirt by themselves. <laughs> you know, they come to the concert, they have to buy that, you know, by themselves. But now we create together, make them money together. That is amazing, I think. That is why NFT community is so important. Like BAYC, a lot of holders use BAYC to do the burger, BAYC burger. Yeah, BAYC car, everything. That's means build together. Sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm. We will have a Dare's first burger <laughs> in day. the future. One day. <laughs> the vegan, the vegan. I don't want to do vegan, but whatever they want. <laughs> but we have a cosmetic right now that I use today. Our foundation, yeah, there's cosmetic by Korean. Yeah, this is really amazing. And no animal tests. Everything is by green. So... That's what we're doing right now. I'm sorry, there's a, a There's Verse Cosmetics brand. Yeah, right. Is That's it out? Or? Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's out, out right okay. now. Wow. Yeah, just this month. Amazing. And yeah. and it's like... And there will be the utility for our holder mm -hmm. also. Yeah. So I always, I always joke that I say, yeah, I buy a lot, a lot of blue chip NFT, but when I get my utility, it's a socks, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, we wish that Dareverse can be the best utility for our holder in the world. Wow. So if we cooperate with the brand, like that day we cooperate with the Chanel, they give some small perfume, you know, some tasks for our holder and our holder is so happy. Yeah, so we will do the really good utility for our holder also. That's such an important part of NFTs. Yeah, it's, yeah. Very, it's very important. So maybe... Because four days more, we've been four months. Yeah, just four months. We do such a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So maybe give us like eight months. Then you're, you can see cosmetic in your house. You can see tissue, maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Mm -hmm. You wear the t-shirt. And one PFP will become your life partner. 
Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay. At what point are you on the roadmap at, at the moment? Actually, it's go fast soon than we think because we think maybe four months still build, but we already become like branding. It's run so fast.、Mm-hmm. I don't know why.、Yeah. We're really doing good.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's time zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we plan that roadmap like one years, but not only four months. We already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know、Hopefully、why because every、yeah. everyone tells us it's a bear market, but I think. We still have to. Let's say, not flex on other people. Like, let's not keep. No, I, I, I have to say because the community. <laughs> yeah. We don't. No, we even、sure. don't do any marketing, because they are doing the marketing for us. <laughs> yeah. They like wake up, say gym, and then you know whole days tell everyone what is the dance verse. They do really a lot of things.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like right now,、um, where we're at is mostly just. Community building. I feel like,、uh, in regards to what she's saying,、um, so we're hosting a lot of、um, forums、uh, all all across the globe.、Uh, we've done one in New York that I was at, and we're doing one here now.、Um, hoping we're going to reach even more destinations,、um, just to talk about what it's like、um, and what it is about Dear Sir that drew us into the community. Because I feel like、um, it's all about stories, and I want to hear everyone's stories. And I think it's really important to know that they have a place to share their stories. So the forums is what we're working on a lot right now, and also our young artist fund that she was talking about.、Um, and then from that,、oh, you that, remember that in New York in the Web Three Gallery, in the、um, yeah Fifth Avenue, we have an exhibition there.、Mm. But normally you see the blue chip if they do the exhibition. They always put the most expensive, you know, PFP there. But actually, we invite our community like five hundred person, and we put them then in every PFP. So like our Japan and so and Singapore community will say, "Oh, I never been New York before, but my PFP is you know Fifth Avenue right now." So I think because our community is so young, they are really new, you know, like Gen Z. So that is so exciting about like that. You remember that? Yeah, it's all about kind of building a global community, knowing that、um, cultural differences and language barrier divides people, but at the same time, we want that, we want to kind of transcend that and look past that and just see people as they are and connect people all around the world for who they are.、Yeah. That's amazing.、Mm, thank you. Also, I have to say, we really work hard a lot because our team like twenty four hour never sleep. Because you know, we have three never sleep. <laughs> so, and our team is so young. It came from like NYU teach and London、uh, art college. So,、um, also I have to say, London is so important for us because we didn't launch yet. We already have a London community.、Mm-hmm. That's why we had to come this time. Not because NFT NYC or token two thousand four nine. Not because that. It's because. London is the most first place that have a community before we launch. Yeah, we so appreciate about that. We love London. Yeah, we love London. We love London. <laughs> yeah, and then we definitely when our metaverse will be launched, we definitely will come back London first. Amazing! We can't wait to have you back. Yeah, we're coming back for you. Love it. I'm just gonna keep going with it. Are you her as her? <laughs> I'm crying. <right. laughs> yeah. Um. So when can we expect this metaverse? Actually, it's so different right now. The feeling, at especially this time, because when you first, you know, you remember you do the forum in New York.、Mm-hmm. We didn't launch yet. Nobody know. What we doing? That is the first forum you did. Yeah. But now we already launch four months, and we are doing great job. So when we come back, we feel a little bit like we return and we do subsets, and you know the the community is so great. So we are so. Different position right now. That's. I don't think that's what she was asking. <laughs> I know that. I just、okay. want to say. Okay, you're just. Going, okay. I, I, I'm answer right now. Right. So. <laughs> We have a community right now. Actually, that metaverse, we work with the community together. That's what I want to say.、Mm-hmm. So it's so amazing because 
I remember first day you do the forum. I didn't in the New York. You're by yourself, and nobody know what is that. And now we can create a metaverse together. Some do the design, and like Cheese today, she is really doing for the AR, VR artist. She's really doing good. She also work with the uh, RCT that game, the gaming, yeah. And she also helped us to, you know, create our virtual singer, the soul. So now our soul can speak, you know, use that, call you by my name. She learned by that movie. What? Yeah, that's she right. learned what by the. She has a spirit. That's what she's doing. Okay. Yeah, Her. we put some book for for the our virtual. Gotcha. Yeah, I put some film for uh -huh. our virtual. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right, that yeah. all by the community. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, even the metaverse, we will work with our community together because our community is so talent. Mm -hmm. They are really young people. Yeah, in the world world. So just we will create together, and we were supporting our community to do everything. For the like, um, yeah, for money, we were supporting them. I think our mission for the project team is how to create a safe place, yeah, and help them the uh, technology to do really good, and for the pay system, and after that, that metaverse is all belong the community. That's amazing. So it's going to be a whole ecosystem. Really. Yeah, right. That's right. Their's verse is really become the strong. Project in the worldwide, and also we will see the branding. So I am conscious of time. So do you guys have any closing comments? We love London. <laughs> <laughs> I will say thanks for community. I, I speak a lot of things already, but I have to say it's really amazing community for this first. Thank you guys yeah. so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Be together. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like, comment, and subscribe. It was such an honor to speak to Annie and Hyphen today, and I'll see you next time. Bye!